Uh, yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hi to kids. I am Q, the Costa Rican coach of the Chicago Dragapults. And today, we are still searching for our first win in the UBL offseason low tiers. And today, in week five, we're going up against the homie Grandmaster, who also goes by D Ray, coach of the Los Angeles Guerrilla Tactics. I had a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of burp, but like it was a hiccup, hiccup burp type of thing. Either way. Uh, link to the channel description down below, as well as a bunch of different playlists to other draft league seasons because we're not doing the coaches thing. And uh, yeah, go check them out and all that good stuff. Hopefully, we can make some good decisions and maybe maybe win this one. I don't know. It kind of I don't really know what I'm afraid of to be honest. Like I think a lowland Persian is my biggest threat. I think, but I'm bringing Bandit Archaeops again because I think it looks good. Um, Focus ass Frost last, but she is very offensive. I think special. I think I'm Ice Beam Shadow Ball. I think I'm Will-O-Wisp or Spikes and then Destiny Bond. I remember Destiny Bond for sure. Um, more Peaks. Good bite with the same set I've been trying to run. Except for I have Toxic. I have Home Claws, Earthquake, Scale Shot, and Toxic. We got Dorado Booters. And we actually are Nasty Plot Persian. Hopefully that could, um, you know, come in handy. I'm just going to tell him I'll be 151. Good luck. Have fun. I'm sure he knows. He's aware. But, you know, just in case. But, yeah. Nasty Plot Persian. Hopefully he can go in. I don't know. Man's got a weird team. Big Turt is uh, threatening, but he can't Shell Smash in this league, so I'm cool with that. I'm pretty sure Shell Smash is banned in this league. Could be wrong, but, you know, it is low tier, so who knows. But, uh, yeah, if you've never heard of the Grandmaster who also goes by D-Ray, go check him out, dude. He's a good guy. Makes really good content and uh, very energetic as well. Let's just get into it, man. Enough, uh, enough freaking nice things i'm scared of banded deli bird as funny as that sounds now that i'm looking at it banded deli bird kind of do be fucking shit up i ran banded deli bird once a lot of my guys outspeed it so it's really not fucking shit up but i don't know it'd be threatening to see deli bird on the other side because it does also get spikes so it could just be like sash spikes but i got the rock blast with the archops and archaeops is actually a good lead against anything he could bring besides a lowland persian because if it's foul play it probably just kills me and there is the Alolan Persian, and the Shinodic, and the fucking Stunfisk. Alright, so... I guess Fabuki's a good lead. What do I even have for the Alolan Persian? I don't think I have anything. Oh, I was supposed to bring Wigglytuff, maybe. Um... I will lead off with Fabuki. I almost always lead off with Frostlass, but like... You know, whatever. What can I do if I lead off with Frostlass against Stunfisk? Probably just go for his rocks if he if he leads off with Stunfisk, I would imagine. But I can I can ice beam for some damage. Okay, let's do that. Let's do it. I almost always lead Frostlass, but whatever. That's back in like standard leagues, you know what I mean? Low tiers, who knows what you lead, you know? But it looks like Turtonator is for the reboot, maybe. Alolan Persian just kind of really goes in here because foul play is just really strong against my guys. Like, even though um, Fabuki is a uh, special attacker in this one, it still probably just knocks me down to Sash, I would imagine. Persian. Oh, wait, I never took a picture of the team. Let's do that, I guess, once it pops back up. Let's go Persian, Alola. Foul play. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't. It two KOs, obviously, but it doesn't kill kill. So that's cool. Because I am special. And they lead off with Frozone. Which is this. Okay, cool. I don't remember. I really don't remember, like, uh, what's it called, but that's really cool. It could be Scarf and U turn, which is whatever. I'm just going to um, press Pokemon and then take a picture of the team real quick. Let's look at it. Okay. I'll save that there. Alright, so I think we just get the fire off a of free... Oh, we do see Deli Bird. Holy crap. I think we just get the fire off a of free... Um, one of these. I'm gonna go Ice Beam. U-turn. They are Scarf U-turn. Okay. Good to know. We Ice Beamed. They could definitely go... A number of Mons, to be honest. It's either it's either like Deli Bird or, or the, the Dragon. Panther. Oh, it's this thing. Okay.
You know what's crazy? I don't unless it's invested, I really don't think this kills me. Hold on. Um when when my HP at one thirty three. 89%. Yeah, they'd have to be invested, invested. And by that damage with Ice Beam, it looks like that max HP. Potentially a little bit of speed up. So yeah, they'd have to be hella invested to kill me here. So I kind of want a Destiny Bond so they can't attack me the next turn and then I spikes, right? I feel like that's what I want to do. I feel like that's what I want to do. So I did it. They could just Parting Shot, which is whatever. Which will also give me a free hit on somebody, I guess. Or a free spike, potentially. They're thinking long and hard about this one. I don't really have a, a Lowland Persian switching. Yeah, and this, unless they're attacking vessels, they shouldn't kill. Yep, okay. So now they can't. If they kill me, they're dead. They can easily parting shot, but like, out in the what, you know? I think I just click a spike. I think we get to get up a spike, which is perfect. Got a little bit of chip on this, potentially getting a spike up. I don't see any magic bounce users, you know, so it's looking pretty good. They could go big, big crazy play would be going hard uh, Articuno right now if they're predicting the spike, but who knows? They're definitely not killing me. They're either parting shot or leaving or U turning. One of the two. They're not. They're not. They're not hit. They're not killing me. Them giving me a Lolan Persian this early would be insane. They do kill me! This works, right? Am I tweaking? Yeah, okay. That works. Sick, bro! Let's go! A Lolan Persian gone. A Lolan Persian gone. Who do I go now? It's Scarf Bird. It's Scarf Bird. I'm gonna go you. Pancake. Okay, this is cool. Um, Stun Fist. So here's the upsetting thing. I have Earthquake, right? It doesn't kill. Um, if it's like max HP, a lot of Fizz death. Um, but they could easily go with a bird. And if they go the bird, I think I would go more Pico. So yeah, what is Earthquake then? Are they boots? Did I not get up a spike? No, because he, he dark pulsed. That's right. I didn't get up a spike. Okay. Remember that. Gotta remember that in the back of my head. Didn't get up a spike. I think they could scout for EQ and go... Nope, they just stay in. Cool. Shucka waka. They're gonna kill me. Huh. Perfect. Um, I think, I think now I go this. We do, we do swap out first, okay. I don't think, were they just going to give this to me? Let's see. Nope, let's go. Did we get Articuno? Shrooms. This is worse. <laughs> Aroma T say versus more peaks. No, not Aroma T's. Whatever the hell this thing's called. Anyways, we're, we're rapid spinning. I could part. I could rapid spin. Oh uh, no, we're parting shotting. I mean, I was gonna say I could rapid spin. This thing gets Moonblast. I don't want to lose this that that soon. So do they click Moonblast or Leech Seed? That is the question. I think either way, no matter what they click, my switching is definitely the booters. Let's just show them all the heavy duty boots like right off the rip. Let's just do it. But that's Scarf Bird, which is good to know because then I can always sucker punch it if it's in. They do Spore. This is very problematic. Damn, I'm, I'm upset this thing's Spored. Uh, I don't have U-turn either, oof. I think I'm just going to waste a turn. 
reps but they get a free like anything in they get a free what's it called free pancake they get a free drudagon in they get a free something they get a lot of free shit in kind of wish i would have rapid spawn but i couldn't predict the spore ain't no way so let's see who they decided to go into pancake yep this thing Well, this thing's kind of just going to get a kill, I think. Um, I guess I have you, but not really. Let's find out how much you take. Thunderbolt, sick. Um, so instead of firing off an Earthquake, which would kill this, I think I'm going to Toxic. There's no Toxic switch-ins. Yeah, no one wants to switch into Toxic. So I'm going to click that. I think this, uh, oh, he stays in. Okay. I could have killed this. Pain Split. Oh, perfect. Now I definitely can kill it, I think. I don't know why I said, oh, perfect. I think, I think I still kill this, what I'm trying to say. 64 to 77. So let's give you 65. Yeah, that's about range. I'll just do it. Oh, no, I'll home claws first. Let me home claws real quick. Even though now they could go back out of the grass type, which I wouldn't like to see. But Toxic home claws. Yep, that's the set. <laughs> that's the set, guys. Wish I was sub now. Who sub would be fire here. But my plan was to toxic the shroom. Whatever the hell that Pokemon's name is. It's not Aromatis. But yeah, my plan was to toxic this on switch in and then come back in later and set up. But now I, I kind of can't do either. What is this? Literally, what is this called? Literally, what is this Pokemon called? Shinodic. Okay. Jesus. Genotic. <laughs> um, Moonblast does, in fact, do damage to me. I mean, I kind of just want to toxic it. No cap. <laughs> Maybe they don't Moonblast? Oh, damn, they do. This might kill. Oh, we live in... I don't think we can switch back into rocks though. So I think it's, I think it's just, <laughs> I think this is dead. This is this thing's dead and gone. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Plus one EQ to a resisted shrooms, who's probably fizzed up. But I think we get to get our guy in. Hold on. Actually, ooh, that's damage. Moonblast. Let's see. Reboots against a stun fizz. So here's what I want to do. I really want to. Flare Blitz at plus one. That's 51 to 61. I really want to bulk up in front of this thing. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm asleep. Duh. So regardless, they get a free turn. I guess I can go you and dual wing beat. How much does dual wing beat do to, to a defensive stun fist? 24 to 28. He can't switch into it, I don't think. Um... I really do. I really. I think I'll do that. Yeah. I think I'll just do a wing beat. Ooh, he does have static though. The Sunfist does get static though. But I feel. I still think I'd outpace the Sunfist if I do get static. Then I think two dual wing beats will do it. Yeah, I think they will. We'll find out. It looks like it. And we didn't get static. Yeah, so I think I'm, I'm going to click it again. I know I'm risking the static a second time. Does this get static or am I just making things up? I feel like it does, though. It does. It does get static. Okay. I don't even know what the other set is. Or what the other set could be. Shrooms. This thing's dead. 
please. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Archaeop Sonic got a kill. Shout out to Choice Band. Uh, no matter what comes in, I think I just um, do a wing beat again. Yeah, this. I'll just do a wing beat again. Two kills? Ooh, static. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Two kills for Archeops! Okay! Yeah, now no now definitely no matter what comes in. This mod's dead and gone. So we're just gonna stay in on whatever. Turtonator, I think we'd be faster then. Um, Deli Bird probably has Ice Shard, and the bird will kill us. So, yeah. And if the bird locks into a psychic type move, we get to go out into the mouse and click or wheel i believe and yeah i think i think i'm taking i think i'm um i haven't paid attention to my time but i think i'm t making my decisions quicker than i used than i was last time last couple games i've been like mad calking and whatnot and just haven't haven't been you know just haven't been anyways uh we do a wing beat we're locked into it the ice shard just shouldn't kill unless they're banded they might be banded. I'm gonna calc that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna calc that. What is this? 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 Deli bird. We'll give you adamant. Two v the two. Remember when I said I was making my decisions quicker? Ice shard. Two archaeops. Yeah, it's gotta be banded. I think. Anyways, um. I guess if they're banded into that, I go onto this and click or wheel. Yeah, I click or wheel. More peaks. They can get their chip off with Ice Shard if they want. It does a decent chunk. It, does, it almost two a KO. So, if they're adamant, if they're adamant banned, which I think they are. Because I feel like that that's definitely what they had to be. Like, he, that's even a role for Archeops, even with Adam and Band. So, like, without it, it does, like, half. And I was definitely above half. Anyways, they go out in two. Curtinator. Young Curtinator. All right, so how much are we doing? Zero. Okay, Rocky Helmet? No. Lefties. So I do have Stomping Tantrum. This thing does kill me. I think I could... Ooh. I think at this point I might have to Parting Shot? Okay, he didn't Shell Trap. Maybe... No, he's lefties, never mind. I was going to say maybe he's wider, but no, he's lefties. And Shell Smash is legal, so what am I saying? Yeah, so we're basically just gonna sack off for boot, cause he kind of. I mean, like I can I can sucker punch that freaking thing, so maybe I shouldn't do that, but I don't know. They do body press, okay. So unaffected by parting shot, which is pretty good for them. I don't even think I'm gonna wake up, but I'm just gonna click this. I don't think I have anything that can kill this thing, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> yeah, I have nothing that kills this. Right? Because I have I have Mopiko and what left? Both my Earthquake users are gone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's you. Alright, let's go for it. No, we lost. Yeah, I think we lost, for sure. I guess I should have just got my chip. I should have just got my chip with more Pico and then tried to win with uh, with this. Oh, I got Power Gem. I mean, maybe. We'll go for it. I 
I'll just do a KO. If I don't die to this body press, which I pre definitely do. Rips. Well, now we go for the crit more Pico, I think. I mean, Archeops got two kills this game. I don't really think I played this game inherently bad at all. I think uh, I just didn't preserve my Garchomp. My Garbite, I mean, I should say. And uh, this Tornado was just able to endgame me and just survive everything. I think that was really just it. It's like, what else does he have left? He has this and Articuno. And Delibird, of course. But yeah, we'll just stop and tantrum now. So that parting shot... I guess that parting shot was quote-unquote the misplay, but eh. Because that body press would have killed me no matter what. Well, all right, man. GG's to D-Ray once again. We drop another game in the UBL. What's new, guys? 0-5, probably like minus 28, 27? I don't know. I, I haven't been keeping count. I'm just, I know it's a high number for sure. But with that being said, that is going to be week five of the UBL. Make sure you go check out my opponent. Link to his channel in the description down below. Pretty proud of Archeops, not gonna lie. He actually got two kills, which is fire. One of them was while he was um, paralyzed, so that's pretty cool. Either way, I'm gonna get up out of here. See y'all in the next one. Peace.